Hey guys, happy 4th of July. I thought I'd jump on real quick today. Um, we're not doing anything special. We're just chilling out today. My husband's at work, so I've just been spending time with the dogs and enjoying my day. So, um, you know, I've had something on my heart today that I feel like somebody really needs to hear this. Um, it, I'm very emotional about health and fitness and I'm very uh, passionate about it. So, you know, whenever I say this, I don't want anybody to take it the wrong way, but you know, every time that I talk to someone that's not currently on a health and fitness journey, they always say, oh, I need to do this and I need to do that. And I so need to start eating right and prepping my foods. I just can't do it. And you know, um, I just, my body hurts too bad. I'm just getting too old. I can't do it. Um, you know, I hear it a lot, and and what I'm here to tell you is, you know, first of all, I've lost 180 pounds. I did not lose that 180 pounds by making excuses, and not saying that I didn't fall off the wagon and try a million things before I finally got it right, but I didn't, um, I didn't see it as weight loss. And that's what a lot of people do. They see it as weight loss. And that's all that they see is that number on the scale or that cute little outfit they want. And in all actuality, what is health and fitness about? It's about saving your life. It's about becoming proactive about your health. Um, you know, it, you can't wait until a doctor says, you know, you're going to have to be on medicine for the rest of your life because you have high cholesterol, you have... Um, diabetes you now you know you're you're just you're you're gonna have to be dependent on medicine and you don't want to wait until then you want to do it before that happens you want to take control over your health and keep hopefully keep those diseases away some things are genetic but um, just like with my RA and um, the reason I started doing weight loss or even thought to do weight loss because I really didn't care how I looked at that point in my life um, I had a daughter that was two and I just wanted to spend time with her and I worked full time so I really didn't care um, I remember eating two boxes of hamburger helper for two people you know in a family and um, that still wasn't enough I remember I remember those days and there it'd be very easy for me to go back to that but one day um, both of my parents died before I was 22 and both of them died from things that I feel that they could have either prolonged their life if they would have known how to do it or they could have prevented it so um, that's why I made the decision to become healthy I wanted to lose the weight so I wasn't pre-diabetic I wanted to not have to worry about heart disease I wanted to be there for my daughter longer than what my parents were and um, so that was the decision that made me pay attention and do what I knew I needed to do and stop looking for the quick fix I always wanted that quick fix I'm just like any other normal person I, you know if I could have found that magic pill I would have done it um, but instead I knew that exercise and eating decent and eating making better choices on my eating was what was going to prolong my life and the weight would come off with that which it's just a full circle that all works together. Um, little did I know that losing the weight would make me a happier person. It would help with my um, depression, my chronic fatigue. Um, I, at that time, didn't have RA. And at that time, my daughter wasn't um, sick with a rare illness. So um, it all was preparing me for later in life. And I am so thankful that I made that decision to become healthy so that I could be here to take care of her and you know when she was 16 and she needed my care 24 hours and I was bathing her and feeding her and all of that and um, pushing her around in a wheelchair I could have never done that and been healthy enough if I hadn't made the decision to just jump on it and do it so you know what I'm trying to tell you is don't sit there and keep putting it off I hear I'm gonna start tomorrow I'm gonna start Monday you know what if that day never comes we're not never promised that next day why not start today? Why not show your family that you care enough about yourself to take care of you? It's, it's way more simple than everybody makes it. Stop making it so hard. Stop looking at what you're not going to get to eat or what you're not going to, you know, have time to do. But, you know, it's prioritizing and making sure that you know that this is about health. You know, don't wait until Monday to do it. 
Don't keep putting that thing off, you know? Um, you paint the picture of your life. You are the artist. And you and only you can make this happen. And no one can force feed you. Nobody can force you to work out. Nobody can make you do anything. You make that choice. You make the choice of what you put in your mouth. You make the choice of what you cook. You make the choice of what you order when you go out to eat. You and only you are responsible for your own health and your own life. And I want you to remember that. You have, you have the power to make this happen. And I know that there is someone out there right now that is feeling miserable about the way that they feel. They're, they're tired. They don't have the energy or the desire to even start a program. And, and I think that's sad because it can be fun. It can help with your, you know, your anxiety, your depression. It can help with your home life. It can help with your, your uh, work life. It can help with so many things if you just, just jump on board. And, you know, make simple steps. Take simple steps every day. Walk for five minutes around your house. You don't even have to get out of the house. You know, um, I spoke to a lady today that she is so uncomfortable with the way she feels and the way she looks on the outside and on the inside that she will not go to any kind of family functions because she doesn't want to have to sit out in this heat in blue jeans and long sleeve shirts because she's not comfortable showing any parts of her body. And that's sad because it does not have to be that way. And you can do it without starving yourself. And you can do it without that pill. You can do it without the quick fix. You're so worth it. You're so worth it. Believe me, you have got to take control over your own thinking, your own choices. And don't blame other people for it. It's okay if your husband's not on board. It's okay if your children aren't eating like you do. You have that choice. And you have the power. And if that's not enough to make you want to do more, then you need to sit back and really think about it. Listen to this video over and over and over. I promise you, I would have never lost 180 pounds if I hadn't decided to take control over my health. That was the number one reason. And I am so thankful that I did so that I could be here to help my daughter right now going through chemo and everything she's doing. I would have never been able to do that. I am so thankful for that. So just jump on board. Take care of yourself. It's important. You're worth it. And you have the power. Remember, you and only you can make it happen. I hope you have a great day. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I know that this is a holiday, but tomorrow is just like starting on a Monday. You're going to get serious and get it going. So if you need a workout plan or you need any help or you have questions, message me. I'm here for you. Have a great evening. I hope you get to see amazing fireworks this evening.